the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He abides with us still, and with all who will trust Him. Obey. For our good night message on this Monday, the 29th of November 2021, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging and strengthening message in line with the gospel passage of today entitled Trusting God and His Word. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but His smile quickly drives it away. Today we read from Matthew chapter 8 verse 5 to 11. It is the period of Advent and we want to know the God we are waiting for as we prepare for Christmas. We are waiting for a God who heals. We are waiting for a God who comes to us in our difficult times. We see this in the story about the centurion in the gospel we read today, where this man taught us what it means to trust God in his word. His servant was healed and he requested that the Lord heals his servant. He trusted so much in his word that he did not need his physical presence. When you have trust and faith in God, you will not require the physical presence of God. You will only require that he presents himself in his word. And that will demand that we learn to trust, trusting that God knows what will happen next and that God is with you and that God is the source of courage. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. This is one of the most comforting verses to cling to when you are facing uncertainty or difficulty in your life like the centurion. The centurion trusted in the Lord. He trusted in what the Lord could do for his servant. Your situation or the situation around you may be beyond your understanding, but it is not beyond God's understanding. God knows what is going on, all the hows, whens, and whys. When you do not know what to do or what will happen next, trust that he does. Follow God's guidelines and commands, knowing that as you practice obedience, He is working out the rest. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him and He helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise Him. Psalm 28 verse 7. Look at this trust that the centurion shows. He explains to the Lord when he planned to go in person to heal the servant. No, I follow commands. He said, Lord, I'm not worthy to have you under my roof, but only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man under authority with soldiers under me. And I said to one, go. And he goes and to another, come. And he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. He says, I live under commands. And I know with your commands, once you say with the word, things are going to be done. Following God's guidelines and commands, knowing that he is going to fulfill what we ask for, is what it means to learn to trust in the Lord. God sees everything that happens to you. He knows all he has protected you from. He is your source of protection. You do not need to give in to fear. It is not easy, but in trusting in his word, 
and knowing that he is aware of what is happening and he will attend to it will help you to overcome he is telling us in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go god is always with you no matter what you face he does not command you to be courageous in your own strength take courage in the knowledge of his presence and power with you and trust in his word and he is going to take care of your concerns he is going to see you through in whatever you are going through all he wants is you to trust in him glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen good night as a dreams saying to you father what he says we will do where he sends we will go never fear only trust them Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Oh, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and